Hey again guys, so in this video I want to show you how to solve a quadratic equation by factoring. So if you've been given a quadratic function like we do here, we have a quadratic function, you of course need to make sure that you turn it into a quadratic equation and since we are looking for uh, the zeros or the roots in this particular case, what we're going to do is we're going to substitute zero in for our y value or in for f of x. So that's going to give us zero is equal to negative two x squared plus 4x plus 6, okay? Now, since we're trying to solve this particular quadratic by factoring, right, we of course are going to factor out this expression. So, notice that in this case, um, all three of the terms in our quadratic trinomial uh, can be, well, we can common factor at a negative 2, right? Notice that they're all divisible by negative 2. So, we're going to start by common factoring at negative 2. So in this case, we get 0 is equal to negative 2, open bracket. Okay, so dividing negative 2 squared out by negative 2 just gives us x squared left over. Positive 4x divided by negative 2 gives us minus 2x. And then positive 6 divided by negative 2 is going to leave us with minus 3. Okay, so what we have is inside the brackets a simple quadratic trinomial. So remember that to solve, or to, sorry, to factor a simple quadratic trinomial, we start by identifying our sum and our product. So in this case, the sum, which is going to be the, the middle coefficient, is going to be negative 2. Okay, and our product is typically the leading coefficient times the constant at the end, but since we common factored at the negative 2, our leading coefficient is 1, and so our product is just going to be the constant, which is going to be negative 3. So now what we want to do is we want to consider to ourselves, okay, are there two numbers that add to give us uh, negative 2, and also multiply to give us uh, negative 3? And it turns out those two values are just going to be negative 3, and positive 1, right? Because negative 3 plus positive 1 is negative 2, and negative 3 times positive 1 is negative 3. So if you remember, back to when we were talking about uh, factoring simple quadratic trinomials, since this is a simple quadratic trinomial, uh, we can basically just use um, these two numbers here right, to jump right to our answer. So let's do that right now. So we're going to have our negative 2 out front, our first factor, well, since the first number is negative 3, we're going to have x minus 3 as our first factor, okay? The second number we found was positive 1, which means that our second factor is going to be x plus 1, okay? So now that this is factored, what we can do, right, is we can uh, take a look at, at this expression now that it's been factored, and you want to notice that we have 0 is equal to negative 2, times x minus 3, times x plus 1. Now, since these three are being multiplied by one another, and we end up with an answer of 0, at least one of those two, or one of those, one of those three, I guess, factors has to be equal to 0. Now, obviously, we can't make the negative 2 equal to 0. That's not something that's possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to assume that... Um, that these two values, or these two factors rather, uh, are equal to zero. So let's do that. We get x minus three is equal to zero over here, and x plus one is equal to zero over here. And all we need to do is we need to solve these two simpler equations. So this gives us a value, x value of three. This gives us an x value of negative one. Okay, and those are the roots of this particular quadratic. So this was how to solve a quadratic equation by factoring. Hope it helps.